Because I was working on TV, I was invited to some very wealthy parties in Bel Air. I'm not going to name any stars because I don't want to get sued, but uh, they would swap their girlfriends and their wives in the, in the swimming pool, and I didn't do that. I just looked at what was going on. It kind of freaked me out. And they would swap their girlfriends and their husbands and wives, and the men would go with the men. It was sort of weird stuff. It, it I was told that if I were, I would, well, there were some beautiful act models there that offered me to go to bed with them and after, had me to get in the swimming pool with them. And one lady grabbed me by the button and says, I sure would like to get some of that chocolate milk. And I, and I was tempted. I was tempted to go there, but I says, what, what about the values you were raised in Christian science? And then I had a steady girlfriend that I was dating, and I didn't want to hurt her. This store used to be called the Swanson's Ice Cream Parlor. From uh, when I first came out here in 1976 all the way until the 1989. And then it was sold and became a liquor store. Well, anyway, this was the first place I worked as a street musician when this used to be the Swanson's Ice Cream Place. Me and David Lee Bynum used to do puppet shows together and we used to do improvisations of different characters together. And now it's a liquor store and shows you how things change. Oh, nice to see you. You look so much like Elizabeth Montgomery. You're very beautiful. Where are you from? Oh, you're just like Boyfriend already? Welcome to America. David, is it hard being David Hart? It's very hard being David Hart. Why? Because I face racism and rejection and a lot of people don't understand me. Yeah, why don't they understand you? Because they're prejudiced against me or they're jealous of me. And they don't understand that I'm an artistic, creative person yeah. that needs to be understood. And a lot of them are jealous of my talent and my music ability. Uh, like when they hear me sing beautifully or play piano, they try to shut me up because they're jealous of the talent. They vote me down and won't let me do music at their church. Yeah. Thanks for the coffee. Let yeah. me fill out the application. You know they're going to be putting microchips in, 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 in everybody like they do in the service people. They are? Yes. Why don't you come to a MUFON meeting with me? Because you've never seen an alien doesn't mean they don't exist. It's like telling a person that's never seen an elephant that doesn't live in Africa it doesn't mean they don't exist. But there's pictures of elephants. And there's pictures of aliens. I want you to come, come borrow some of my UFO videos. I have aliens on them. I gave you one where the government actually admitted that they uh, recovered crash UFOs. Disclosure project. What'd you do with that video? Yeah, you'll clear the show. I have a recipe that I know that would make them money. Yeah, what is it? I made it when I was in the U.S. Navy. What is it? A breakfast 
uh, breathless. A breathless made breakfast. Breathless made uh, pizza. Okay, uh, a breakfast pizza. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna uh, see, huh? It's on like scrambled uh, eggs. Well, scrambled eggs and bacon. Um, it's mar- like pasta sauce and pasta sauce on the first layer, and it has eggs and bacon. I don't and know if this is really the place to sell it, but I think it's a good idea. It might have actually been done already. Oh. But I don't know if California Pizza Kitchen is really the place that it has. They don't really serve breakfast. They're, n- they're not open for breakfast. Well, uh, they could be. She she asked for my phone number. I gave her my phone number.